Hi, this is Andrew Park. For purposes of advocacy, research is most effective when it is understood, when it is remembered, and when it is repeated by others. Sloganizing your finding is one way to help achieve this. So it's basically taking the most interesting finding in your research and creating a very short phrase that can fit in an email subject line and be used repeatedly in all the materials uh, of your organization as well as materials of other organizations so that the findings take on a life of their own. Now, in order to do this, it does have to be short enough to fit into an email subject line. It has to be something that does not use any jargon or any words that might not be understood by the general population. And it has to be in a generic third person voice. So uh, you want to be able to have other people repeat the phrase themselves. So it needs to be written in a way that is indifferent to who is the messenger. So let's look at some examples. Here's uh, a finding, which is we are victimized three times more than cisgender people. It's a nice finding, but this phrase really could only be said by a transgender person because it's it's using the we. So don't use the we. Say something like, uh, trans people are assaulted three times more than others. The other problem with that phrase is that it used the term cisgender. A lot of people don't know what cisgender is. Uh, people also don't know what transgender is, but that may be part of your advocacy to try to teach them what that term means. Uh, and the reasons you want to sloganize your findings, there are at least a couple that I can think of that are very important. First of all, it's your job to make your research understandable. If you're not able to come up with a short phrase that communicates the results of your research, then you've got to start over and, and just figure out how to do it. Because uh, if you can't make your research understandable, it's kind of your responsibility, not the responsibility of the people who are reading your research. Uh, people remember things that are important to them. So sloganizing your finding also helps test whether the findings of your research are related to community priorities. If the community is not interested in your research, then you know something might be amiss if you are hoping to kind of latch on to the priorities of the community. Many times, research challenges community assumptions. So maybe the interest that the community has is one to say, oops, we didn't realize it was that way, we thought it was another way, and we want to kind of get into a a discussion about that, but at least that means your research is being paid attention to. Uh, so sloganizing your findings and seeing if your research has traction can test the relevance of your research. And third, sloganizing your findings is uh, very important if you're doing what's called echo chamber advocacy. Uh, echo chamber advocacy is when you want to have other people kind of adopt your messages and agenda and echo them in other fora. So uh, sloganizing your finding is a way to give people the tool to articulate what your finding is in their own work and to their uh, colleagues and bosses and, and their advocacy targets.